So, is everybody ready for the new draft environment? Uh, it got introduced yesterday, we're gonna be playing with it today. Right away, uh, we got Fel and Vow available, so cool, cool stuff. Do we want to take that uh, card right now? That's an interesting question. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got. We're into the new draft stage. Uh, I've got this Rhyme Conclave Smuggler, which is super good. I got Vital Arcana, which is actually super good as well. Uh, draw two, gain two, it now costs five, but I forgot that it actually got buffed up in cost. That's something to pay attention to here. Um, we have a Felon Vow, which is a really curious power that I actually kind of think might be really good to pick. Uh, the ability to pull power out of your deck and thus like prevent yourself from getting uh, power screwed might be pretty interesting, and I kind of want to get access to these as fast as possible just so that we can play them in various decks. So uh, we might just go ahead and not necessarily rare draft that, but sort of get it into a place where we can play around with it a little bit. Blade of the Worthy, strength equal to the highest strength among your units for a 6 cost, 0, 5. That's a reasonable option. Deep shadow influence to be sure and a little bit difficult to fix for, but potentially interesting. Vorpal Cutter, same thing. It's a decay unit that when it attacks gets strength this turn equal to the highest strength among your units. Uh, that's not really anything that I'm particularly interested in. Armed and Dangerous, 4 cost at 6. Play a 3-3 three, three weapon on 2 of your units. Uh, kind of neat. It features uh, Caleb loading up his uh, Persuader, which, yeah, that's a cool piece of art, actually. It's one of the better pieces of Caleb art that we've seen. Uh, cool stuff. But also, like, pretty expensive, very, very deep in fire influence. Uh, Flashfire nice. is available, so. Getting close to that one year. Yeah, cheers. Uh, thanks so much, Yamojo. Oh, hey, I guess we got a uh, we got a cute emote there. Oh, it's a cute little bee. All right. <laughs> uh, appreciate it, though. Yeah, very much appreciate uh, 10 months and looking forward to seeing you in two. Uh, well, uh, continuing to see you for another two, rather. Um, okay, so we picked up this film vow, but look at this flash fire, and are we going to consider actually doing something interesting with that? We have Hardy Warrior, that's a four cost, like two five, I would say, most likely. Um, you know, two four, something like that. Reasonable stats, not bad. Blade of the Worthy feels like it's gonna be reasonably strong, although it's a little bit difficult to play, and the deep, deep influence cost makes it like a, a difficult draft choice. I think I like Shifting Illusion a lot, actually. Um, it's a small little flyer, but it has Summon Plunder, which is just gonna be a pretty big deal. So maybe we do that. Let's give it a shot. High school marksman. Okay, marksman helps out with like all of the random plunder stuff. Reflection. I love the art on this card. It looks like a magic land, basically. Like there's nothing really going on in this image, but it is really pretty. Um, okay, midnight hunt. That's a really nice like uh, sort of quick active um, option. Spirit weaver. Uh, summon plunder and your units with five strength or more have lifesteal, which actually seems like a great card uh, at this color setup. Hunting Allosaur, give another one of your units decay and killer. Uh, okay, that's very strong. Uh, a four or five is not amazing, but like if you can put it on another big unit, you can definitely do some pretty wild stuff. I think I'm gonna go with Spirit Weaver here. I think that early plunder is probably something that would be very, very strong to pick up. I'm guessing that like getting early plunder is really going to help out our setup, and we'll see exactly to what extent that's true. Grave Robbery here, sack a unit to draw a card of your choice from the enemy void. That's probably not super important, but it is fun. Torrent of Filth, Decay, Lifesteal, Revenge, deal one damage to an enemy. I'm curious about this one. Spell damage, like, Felm seems kind of interesting with this. Uh, it does have Revenge, so it's got some limited value over time. It might be a really interesting removal card. Snowmass Jotun is a strongish unit. Uh, Bleed of the Worthy is also okay. Snowmass Jotun gives life, gets Lifesteal from Spirit Weaver, and it's a shift five, so that's a reasonable pickup here if we're going to go after the Spirit Weaver setup, which I think we are. Storm Prowler, another good option to get like uh, extra value out of. Natural Order seems nice, but if we were playing with uh, like big film is the idea. I like Storm Prowler here and I like Natural Order. Uh, Research Assistant is kind of cool since it gets us blue influence. Uh, that card is gonna be kind of helpful for this whole setup. Let's try, I don't know. People are giving Storm Prowler a pass and I think they're right to do so. Let's try Natural Order. Reflection, don't really care. Blade of the Worthy again. Uh, Towering Arachnid, sacks a unit to plunder, which is kind of cool because we can play like Shifting Illusion, sack a unit to plunder, and get some more value out of that. 
That's kind of an interesting choice. A 5-2, however, is just like, yeah, I don't know about that stat line. It could be very good, but I'm also like a little skeptical. Badge of Honor is actually insane. If I were going to switch colors, that would be the way to do it. Yeah, the Art on Reflection is just super sweet, I think. Slumbering Stone. Okay, we finally got a unit that's worth sacrificing, so if we can pick something up like Spirit Weaver now, we're going to be pretty happy with it. Storm Prowler versus Second Snowmass Jotun. That's an interesting choice. Uh, I think I want a Storm Prowler or two. I'm really curious to see to what extent we can make these work. Amethyst Coin is whatever. Second Sight. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Do we have any like Second Sight shenanigans that we can play? Revenge is available, so that'll help a little bit. I think Scheme is probably the best way to support a Revenge. Okay, we got Water Conjuring. That's not bad. Switchblade Deadeye is also pretty good here. It's a decent two drop that can be up to four, so got some potential there. Thunder Wing, super powerful red card. Uh, we're kind of like locking ourselves into blue at the moment, so I'm not sure if that's something I want to do, but uh, I think I could definitely do Water Conjuring, and I think I could definitely do like Biting Winds. Both really good choices. Let's try Water Conjuring, since that's like just a generally strong card. Okay, here is the spell damage. Spellstorm Stranger at 3 and Double Helix Drake at 5. Double Helix is a little bit... Like, I think I want to reserve my later slots for units with 5 strength or more and run, like, Spellstorm Stranger in the early game. Uh, on the other hand, I think we also want Biting Winds more than we want spell damage, so let's get that first. Fear Tracker, the perfect 5 damage unit, so let's go ahead and pick that up. Skeletal Dragon, eh, don't care. Biting Winds, definitely love it. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Get some good removal on. Fear Tracker number two. Oh man. We also got Touch of Resilience, but yeah, Fear Tracker is just an insane card, and getting two copies of it combined with Spirit Weaver sounds like a real strong time. Uh, we can take Succumb here, since we have the two Biting Winds. Uh, Succumb stacks better with more removal, and we can maybe get some sort of like Felm, uh, Felm sort of value play going on. I like Dark Betrayal okay here, but I think Biting Winds number three is actually probably where I want to go. Now we'll take a Spellstorm Stranger. Uh, Succumb is fine, but yeah, Spellstorm Stranger, real strong stuff. Brood of Aramont versus Plagued Griffin. I actually prefer Plagued Griffin. Uh, Inferno Zealot and Static Discharge. Uh, Static Discharge is kind of cool, but I don't think it's like particularly strong. I don't know, we're kind of feeling like Deep Felm right now, and it seems like that is open at the very least, so we might as well take it. Okay, Touch of the Wild gives Overwhelm. That may be useful. Mysterious Waystone's powerful-ish. This is a premium uncommon, which is why I want it. Um, over Blood Wolf, which is, I think is actually a pretty strong card, but can't block. I really think Blood Wolf is a great card, but... Um, I don't know. What could we do with Blood Wolf? Blood Wolf could activate, like, Plagued Griffin and turn it into a 5 damage flyer with Lifesteal. That's actually pretty important. I think we got to take that. Another Biting Winds. This time around, I think we want to take Triumphant Return. Because I've got how many Biting Winds now? Three? Yeah, so Triumphant Return is definitely where we want to go. Double Helix Drake, that's something. It's a flyer, at least. Contaminating Ritual, uh, that's kind of got some value. I think it's not a terrible choice if we're trying to push damage, which with Fear Tracker, I think that, like, yeah, reach is definitely something within our actual reach. Overlook Spotter is not going to be, like, I'm looking for that five strength value on my big units, so I'm going to go with Contaminating Ritual here. Uh, Tainted Mark... I have Plagued Griffin. Uh, when one or more units hit the Cursed Player, draw a card. Do we take... Um, Plagued Griffin plays Electropy. At the end of the Cursed Unit's turn, it deals one damage to its owner, which triggers Tainted Mark. That's actually really strong. We're going to take that. Two-Face, absolutely insane card. We definitely want it. Uh, Brood of Aramont, it's fine. Spore Spitter uh, might be better. I'm not a big fan of Brood of Aramont, but it is like a good 4-drop, and good 4-drops are hard to find. Spore Spitter would normally be like a really good late game option, but we're using like this sort of Blade of the Worthy setup. I think we actually want Brood of Aramont here. Nesting Raven, don't really care. Felrex Central Trader kind of care, but I think Spellstorm Stranger and Nesting Raven are the two choices. Nesting Raven's good as a 1-drop. We've already got two good 1-drops, so we'll probably just stick with that. Urgent Missive, Book Club Yeti. Book Club Yeti can trigger off of three cards, and they're pretty good ones. Static Discharge is not really a good one, but hey. Static Discharge again. Okay, maybe we'll take some. <laughs> succumb. I'm getting a lot of Succumbs. Uh, is Succumb any good? <laughs> I'd assume not, but hmm. Double Helix Drake I think is still like a pretty terrible card. I don't have any like items that help it out, so we'll take the Succumb. Alright. 
Uh, massive support for influence. Now I really got to try and get some like blue, uh, not, what is it called? What is, uh, not blue plunder, blue, man, I don't even remember what it's called. Elysian Trailblazer is kind of cool. I'd probably play that. Grizzly Contract, Revenge, Sack a Unit to Kill an Enemy Unit. That's exactly the kind of like interesting revenge stuff we want to be playing with. Uh, Beseech the Throne is also strong-ish. Probably Grizzly Contest set. Vorpal Cutter, Murky Tentaclesis. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of revenge cards, right? When you play a card with Destiny, draw Murky... Yeah, okay, that's a super strong option. Devouring Shadow, we love it. Hardy Warrior, uh, I want to build Blue Influence, not profit off of it at the moment. Cabal Standard's cool. Towering Arachnid is cool. Uh, Towering Arachnid is a reasonable way to use this two stuff, but I think the Ball Standard is probably more important. Oh, Premium Resolute Paladin. Uh, I'd rather not have a second Grizzly Contract, so we'll just take that. Another Arachnid. There's an Arachnid. Wow, yeah, Arachnids are getting passed up. Uh, Felm Stranger, that's exactly what we want. Cobalt Waystone, great stuff. Not bad. I think we did good here. All right, if I could turn back time. Hey, things are going good, Tempest. Uh, like, uh, we're testing out the new draft format for the first time. I've built something dumb, I think, but potentially good. Uh, Storm Prowler is the weakest card here. I mean, I've got, like, Ross the Waking Glacier. I don't need Storm Prowler, and my units are pretty dang good already. I think we're going to do Blood Wolf and uh, Plagued Griffin stuff. I think we're going to do Flyers and... Like that whole setup. We have Murky Tentaclesis, which, man, that card is strong. Uh, we have two Towering Arachnids, and that is one that I have to be a little bit more careful with. I don't have a lot of Corrupted options, but I at least have Slumbering Stone and Shifting Illusion, both which play pretty well into the card. Uh, I don't know. It might end up being, like, just not that strong. Okay. 19 units. All feel pretty strong. Contaminating Ritual is curious. Uh, it's a great way to push reach, but it's also like eh, mediocre options. Water Conjuring, Succumb, Torrent of Filth. I kind of want to play Torrent of Filth. I think we want to play all of our revenge cards since that synergizes very well with Murky Tentaclesis. Uh, Grizzly Contest is kind of curious. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want... S I think I want Scheme because that's like a great way to support our Destiny options. Same with Triumphant Return. Do we have any revenge units, actually? No, not really. Okay, so we don't have to play Triumphant Return here to get our units back. Especially since like some of them are like Roast, Waking Glacier, and stuff like that. But it's still a very strong card. I think we're actually into it. Urgent Missive is probably not worth it here. We actually have some other sacrifice options that we're going to be a little bit more happy to have. Contaminating a Ritual is kind of interesting. Um, I could do like Contaminating Ritual to give a unit flying and lifesteal attack with it and then uh, sack it to Towering Arachnid, which uh, it's okay. It's not perfect, but it's kind of neat. I think I'd rather just ditch Contaminating Ritual. We have a lot of other spells to go with. Uh, okay, four of these cards are power, which actually means that we're pretty close to being done. Uh, we have good twos. Are three slots a little heavy? Uh, three... Not not on units, though. It's just on spells. We have a ton of biting winds. Hey, how's it going, Samantha Darling? What do I think was the most popular brew I've ever made? Oh, I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, I mean, Crown Roaches is... I don't know. Like, what, what, do I, what can I lay direct claim to? <laughs> Like, Crown Roaches is definitely, like, one of the more popular decks that I popularized, but it's not necessarily mine. Um, Carpet Shuffle Archetype was uh, reasonably popular. I feel like Stone Scar Maulers was the one that, like, really took off in terms of, like, other stuff. I didn't do Mokdo Crown. Mokdo, like, I stayed away from Mokdo. Um, I think I did anyways. I was much more into like the Clockroach Piercing Grief setup. And I the Piercing Grief setup was mine. That was something that I did first day of Omens of the Past. So Piercing Grief Clockroaches, Clockpocalypse was probably one of the better ones in beta, early beta. Newer decks, um, there's some. I'm trying to think of what ones I've been particularly fond of. Mug Materia, yeah, Mug Materia is really popular right now. Definitely that's my most recent success, I would say. 
like Mono Shadow would be a very different place without Mugbateria. And <laughs> even though that deck does use a uh, uh, Unseen Longbow, and most people ditched the Unseen Longbow for other cards. <laughs> But that's that's sort of the Pojo special. We tend to like put something in that's like a little bit off brand uh for like spikes. Alright. Do I think Carpet Shovel's more viable now? No, it's less viable now. Uh they nerfed it to the ground. They nerfed it like six times. Well, maybe not. Maybe they just nerfed it the once, but it was a pretty big nerf. <laughs> Like, Elysian Trailblazer will never recover from uh, Pathfinder's sins. It's a 7 cost 3-3. Three, three. It's absolutely atrocious. In fact, we're thinking about not running it here. And I think we'd be right to do so. Alright. So, uh, Water Conjuring is a little bit slow. But it is a good way to sort of stay alive. I also don't necessarily need another Towering Arach- I think I only need one Towering Arachnid. I feel like two is pushing it. That's 16. Thinks I need 18. I'm inclined to agree. Scheme helps a little bit, but I don't have good fixing, so like, yeah. Grizzly Contest is tricky, but it has Revenge. Sack a unit to kill a unit, and I have a bunch of corrupted options, so that seems fine. Hmm. Devouring Shadow is definitely great. Biting Winds is definitely great. I feel like I really want Torrent of Filth. I have no idea how good it is, but I'm very excited about it. What a good piece of art, too. Spellstorm Stranger isn't high on my list. 16 units is as low as I'm willing to go, though. Eh, maybe not. We're, we're really not into spell damage here, are we? Let's just cut the Spellstorm Strangers. That makes the rest work. Oh, Darkest Tempest, what's up? <laughs> Spirit Weaver. Water Conjuring, Biting Winds. This is a pretty good hand, apart from the fact that I'm go first and I only have two power. If I can get to the Biting Winds, it's fine. But Spirit Weaver is not like a... Oh wait, no, Spirit Weaver fixes for us. We've got Plunder cards now. We actually get to do Plunder stuff. What's not to love? Okay. Got a Blood Wolf. We want to play the Blood Wolf, so I think we're going to ditch the Grizzly Contest here. Is that not beautiful? God, I love Plunder. Alright. Keep those initial hands much more often. Ooh, okay. Things are getting exciting. I mean, even if you make like a 5-1, I think I like this. Natural Order kills the thing. Oh, right, yeah, the pre-order's out. I should probably do that. Okay, the rustling is tough. But we're in a good spot for it. Decay has an interesting symbol. Alright, handled. Uh, now we just need a little power for Fear Tracker. Attack for two. Fear Tracker deals three damage, gains three life, and gains three life again because it has life steal. So now I'm at 32. Take that swing. <laughs> Like, all of this would not have been possible without Spirit Weaver. That Plunder just made this first turn hand. That is how strong Plunder is. Like, super cool stuff. Did you know? Plunder is great. Okay, Grizzly Contract sucks, but hey, it's fine. Could 
could do a natural order here if I wanted to. Uh, we've also got Tainted Mark. Let's get rid of the tokens. I think that's a reasonable use of my time. Oh, or just draw a card. I'll take a card. Okay, Grizzly Contract, Sacks. That's fine. We're still getting what we want, really. Let's see, pay four, pay two. Okay, so I can do both. And that'll give me two card draws. Without having to play natural order. We earn our okay, but in this case, we're gonna swap. Activate natural order, and yeah, now we can start drawing more cards. Dark Mass Stalker, not a card we care about. Ooh, interesting warp. Shift 5? Or we can just play it. I guess we'll just play... I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll just play it. Get a straight 5-7. <laughs> We've got Biting Winds for the 3-5, so we're not worried about that. Fear Tracker's gonna draw us a card. We absolutely have to Fear Tracker next turn. <laughs> But yeah, this deck is crazy strong. Seats the throne, cool. Draw a card plunder's nice, but like, yeah, I don't think that card's very good at all. It is a really good draft fixer at the very least. But it slows your tempo down so much, and if you're playing tempo, which this deck kinda is, eh, it's like mediocre decay value, I guess. Oh, all right, there goes a card draw. Sad day. We'll live, though. How about we just uh, Water Conjuring? Bullcrafter Shaman's pretty nice here. I like Natural Order as well. Oh, Bottled Storm, though. Gotta take Bottled Storm. Oh, and there's Plagued Griffin. Uh, I actually probably should have played that first. It's just super good here. Okay, repeating the Assault Shield only kills the 1-3, which gets rid of the lifesteal. But you're still dealing with a 5-7, so... Well, your 3-5 got Killer. I guess that's something. Why don't we hit the 1-1 one, one here? And we'll just hold on to the Biting Winds. Bleed them dry. Fervent Siphoner is a thing. Yeah, not a difficult sacrifice there. Got a flyer. It's kind of neat. But of course, we're here to kill that. And now the 1 1 should draw me a card. Nice! 5 7's got killer now. Scheme. <laughs> Uh, it's not that good here. I think we should pick it up anyways. You're a pace six. I think I'm into it. I'm pretty sure I draw two cards off of this, but I'll have to double check. It might trigger simultaneously. Ooh, fire etchings. That's a cool card. 
Uh, we only get one. Sad day. Okay, uh, is there a unit that we really, really want here? I like Fear Tracker. Fear Tracker's probably the most lethal. My daggers find their mark. Yep. Yeah, we just have to kill it, sacrifice it, whatever. They'll never hear me coming. And that's the game. All right. Solid stuff. Siege is like a wisdom that goes in any deck. No, it's not, though. Because it doesn't actually draw you any cards. Like, uh, Shadow Shadow, Two-Faced Spirit Weaver. The Siege replaces one card with itself, and then it replaces another card with a Plunder or a Treasure Trove. So it's, it's kind of, like, equivalent to what you would... It, like, it's sort of similar to a Herald Song, in that it's like a good replace effect to get through some of your deck and fix things. Maybe even, like, uh, strategize, although... A better Trailblaze. I don't think it's a better Trailblaze. Trailblaze is fast, which is one of its big advantages. But, like, it at least fixes enough. All right, we gotta go Two Face first, or are we gonna go Towering Arachnid? Let's go Two Face first. Okay, ditch some fire out of their deck. It's a pretty difficult card. Are we gonna sacrifice here? The strong. Oh, got an immediate plunder. Good times. Uh, Torrent of Filth? Seems right. Get that shadow going so we can set up Blade of the Worthy. Oh, I might need blue, actually. Biting Winds might have been better there. So much to learn. No, it turned out fine. Uh, Devouring Shadow here turns this off. I don't want to attack, because if I get the block, then bad things happen. A second Zolta Exile, interesting. This attack is plenty strong. I can get more influence for Blade of the Worthy, which is... Eh, it's got potential. Though I kind of want to play the Blood Wolf, so maybe I don't want to do that. Plunder is a May, so I don't have to plunder at all here if I don't want to. I considered swapping for a 2-5, but the 5-2 has lifesteal, and that's just actually a really big deal. Embrace the flames. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I'm into it. We gonna trade? I think we're gonna trade. It's a good amount of life. Although Blade of the Worthy would be really happy with it. Could swap to a 3-1, don't need to just yet. We earn our Let's go again.
Get a 7-4 out of this nonsense. What's not to love? So much to learn. Uh, promising people's an issue, but not the end of the world here. I don't like that they get to treasure trove here, but I think it's still the best way to go. And we get to biting wins the four three here, so. I can fix that. Interesting. I'm into it. Nice, no treasure troves at all. I will stay. Why did I clan tactic that? So that I could, uh, why did I cabal tactic that? Oof. Alright, aggressive 7-7. Seven, seven. Not great, though. I think we actually killed the 2-3 here. Unfortunate that that grizzly contract triggered the way it did. But, like, yeah, we did it so that we could keep the unit alive. Because I wanted to. Huh, enchanted plate mail. It's a pretty tough enchanted plate mail. Huh! Mercury Tentaclesis. What's not to love? Gonna have to biting wins that weapon, but hey. It's okay, we got our value's worth. Man, this roast is super not happy. <laughs> oh, it had four health versus two attack? Okay. Yeah, we probably did just miss it. Um, let's shift. I'm not sure I have enough blue influence for roast. I might need to work on that. It'll get the job done. We have some pretty difficult requirements right now. Oh man. Well that's lame. A 9-9? Nine -nine? Yeah, Mantle of Justice is a beater right now. Maybe I should have blocked there. Oh, all my best options to kill it, like, suck here. I won't. I still might be able to race it. You, finest hour? Well, at least we're getting rid of it, but yeah, that sucks. Okay, that doesn't do anything. So I can do seven a turn, which puts them on a two turn clock. They can deal nine a turn. Just barely ahead right now. Let's get some blue influence. Alright, that's lethal. Might not be. Hold the front. Good shit. We all
If I hold tight here, I can feasibly just win. I think I want to attack with the 2-2, though, because another card here would be really helpful. Okay. It was really helpful. Treasure trove here, going to be pretty scary. I do have a face Aegis, though. So I'm probably okay. Ancient Serpent uh, gets me my stun back. We want that. Okay. Nice. Pulled it out. Very good stuff. All right, uh, Shadow... No, we're gonna redraw there. <laughs> hmm. Okay. No, wait, I don't, I don't have double Shadow Influence. <sighs> I've made errors in life. Oh, thank goodness. Two Face is interesting, but I think Blood Wolf is the correct call here. I suppose I could have Two Faced and milled my roast, which would be a way to not draw roast when I don't need it. A worthy find. Oh, ancient Machinist. Agent Machinist is a legit scary card that I think we're going to kill right now. Like, I was skeptical of that card in uh, Constructed, but I do fear it in Limited. Alright, Snowmass Jotun is next. That's going to be a shift. Wish we could have warped it, but hey. Yeah, so we can have a true colorless deck now, Merkle Girl. Um, might not have colorless power. Uh, I don't know, I think you still want the units that generate influence, like World Shaper Staff. This attack is fine. I suppose I could have kept Water Conjuring. Hmm, put revenge on a unit, block with the unit, get a revenge unit. It's kind of neat. Good way to generate an influence, too. Solid value play. That's a scary customer. They want to unscary it. Watch your back. I uh, didn't get their revenge unit, sadly. That would have been nice. Still, we have another chance at it with Towering Arachnid, so... What's not to love? <sighs> Turn back time gets you what? A Thunder of Wings. Wow, that sucks. Mm, 
I like biting ones here. Do I want to transform anything? Like, Roast is pretty powerful. Playing Griffin is actually, like, super good. Our aim is clear. A little unfamiliar interloper. Nice to see you. Uh-huh. No problems there. Wall of you for 10. Like, Griffin makes this fairly unkillable unit annoying. <laughs> they got another silence coming at some point, but we have biting wins for the 4 1, so we're not worried about it. Beautiful. Blue influence. Not, not to love there. Want to just play Fear Tracker here? My daggers find their mark. I kind of like the attacks. Yeah, let's make the attacks. Why not? Just those two. Trade the 5 2 for the 1 4 and the 1 1. Trade the 5 7 for nothing. <gasps> Oh no, one of my units disappeared. It's a good bit of removal and limited. Man, I really wish that two case hadn't gotten silenced. That's rough. It's okay though, we're still alive. Warple Cutter, scary, scary decay unit. Not my best roast. My daggers find their Probably want to sacrifice now before we get uh, silenced. We stand strong. You got too many destiny units on top at the moment. We need to fix that. Oh, is this permanent? Nope, this turn. Okay, so it's fine. How do I want to do this? I feel like Grizzly Contract is nice, but it's not necessary. Hmm. We might do it anyways. How are we just biting wins that for now? A 2 2 is not really hurting us. Alright, Roost is going to get silenced immediately, but. I still think a 7-7 seven, seven is the correct play right now. <laughs> and they didn't silence it, so uh, we should be okay. Uh, in fact, I can Grizzly Contract next turn to play Roast Shifted, which is going to be a big deal. So we're in pretty good shape. <laughs> Alright, that worked out really well. <laughs> We built a good film deck. I'm very happy with this one. The Nico Namakon. Felm Vow, Amethyst Coin, Two Face, Fear Tracker, Book Club Yeti. I mean, we've got at least a couple of playable cards, so I think we keep this. Like, Two Face and Book Club Yeti alone make it worth it.
I don't love uh, Feln Valing this early, but I also think that that is correct. Oh, here's an interesting bit. Do I want to play M this coin for the value? Almost certainly not. Kieran, okay. Cool, so we know we're going for double blue then. Want to go Book Club Yeti right away, or we want to go Two-Face right away? Let's go Book Club Yeti right away. Two-Face is going to come in handy later for discarding revenge cards and for killing large units. Whereas Book Club Yeti is just immediately aggressive and delightful. Okay, you got some toys. Two-Face it is. I Inferno Zealot. I'm not that worried about the 8-8 Giant, but I am worried about all the power they're going to have, because they're going to have a lot of power here. Still, it's going to take them a while to get there. Want to transmute Cabal Standard? Yes. No, because we actually have a 4-drop we want to play, so... It would be silly to transmute Cabal Standard. Especially if they're going to, like, Eternity Core this turn. Got a good chance of playing Tentaclesis soon. Got to make a couple calls here. We want to just attack it. Seems sensible. Does that negate the other deadly? I don't actually remember. Interesting. I think we got a play Cabal Standard here. We got too many other good cards going on. And I think we lead Tentaclesis. All right, Carvet's strong bit of business. But I got a 5-2 pushing, so I'm not too far out. Especially with the fear trackers. Right, we got an 8-8 coming as well. Just a whole pile of nonsense. My prey never escapes. Eh, Dark Mess Stalker's a scary customer, to be sure. Carvet's killing them very, very quickly here. I think we got this. We gotta be real careful here. Horrifying. I don't see how they win from here, though. That is the game. Eh, I messed up. This opens up like Contaminating Ritual. Okay, cool. <laughs> Man, a 
A lot of bomb cards on my opponent's side of the board there, but yeah, we crushed it, so. JRK Red. Uh, okay, Amethyst, Felon, Shifting Wee. Okay. Yeah, this is actually a very capable hand. Um, hmm. A lot of interesting choices here. Hmm. So I could lead by just getting some power, right? Maybe ditch triumphant returns since it's not a great early hook pull. Play a unit with more strength. Oh yeah, that card's great. The strong. I think I don't want Slumbering Stone here. Oh, for some reason... Oh, right, you, you transform power into... Right. I forgot how Plunder works almost immediately. Okay, well, that's not good, but it's not bad either. We're fine. See if we can get rid of this 1-1. One, one. Cool. That leaves us with a functioning unit. that can't trade anymore, but is... Still going to trigger Onslaught and allow us to set up the rest. Yeah, I over-plundered here. That was my bad. If we get any more plunder, we'll use it to transform a little bit of a... Hmm, interesting. Do we want to build more Primal? I think we want to build more Shadow just in case we draw that 5-cost Relic weapon. And blocks there. All right, here's a 5-2, and we have a Cabal Tactic. So we're pretty happy right now. Mm. Not my favorite thing to do, but we'll take it. Start playing Primal to get up to Roast. Hmm. Well, I'd rather not get mowed down by a Fury Blade, so we'll Tactic there. Ah, it doesn't trigger Tentaclesis if that happens. I probably shouldn't even have played Plague Grifton. That sucks. Ooh, getting the blue influence together. Not sure if that's good, but they certainly did do it. Do they have any revenge stuff going on? No, might as well mill them. Watch your back. Touch the wild and dust blind. Not amazing choices. Beseech the throne? That's, uh... Yeah, it's doing stuff for him, I guess. <laughs> Hold under. Could block here. Doesn't seem particularly useful. Ooh, ooh, okay. Uh, yes, we want that. Got their Plague Griffin and their Storm Prowler, which I do like. Garbage, garbage, garbage. We are our Burning Core Drake is a horrible thing to play here, but sure. I 
don't know why you'd play Burning Gore Drake here. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. A lot of value lost in a very short period of time. I'm sad we won't have Triumph of Return coming up here. Yeah, Grizzly Contest is pretty sweet. If you're Tracker. Okay. Beat him up. Battle Mage. Play a spell with three or more battle skills. Huh. That's funny. Yeah, Grizzly Contest being fast is really good. Uh, it's just a it's just a nice card in general. The Force Sacrifice is a little tricky, but I think that the card is like actually really strong. It's one of the one of the stronger draft choices. As long as you have sacrifice targets, which I might not. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this hand's much better than it looks because we have Spirit Weaver. Sure. Play Spirit Weaver on two, plunder, get the primal out of our hand. Our aim is clear. The strong shall inherit. Got ourselves a treasure trove to start with. I could do Towering Arachnid here, but I actually don't want to, because like the sacrifice would be kind of bad for us here. Scheme is nice, but not really up my alley right now. Water Conjuring, that's a little bit more up my alley. <sighs> Bang, Sarasaur is such a nasty monster, though. Maybe I should have played Towering Arachnid. I will stay vigilant. Okay, that's something. Little Breaker comes down at the wrong time. Good times. Felonvel is looking like it should be for Shadow, although I really want to make it for Jotun. Okay, yeah, definitely Shadow. Want to just hold tight here? I think so, actually. I could scheme. I can fix that. Hmm. All right, I will at least scheme. Slumbering stone that gives me something to sacrifice for Arachnid. Lead of the Worthy is looking okay. Farewell, 4 4. I can fix that. All right, I hate it. Do I care about any of these plunders? I think I'm actually good. Oh wait, I could have played Vengeful Gargoyle there. Whoops. I whiffed it. Yulo Sky Tactician seems great. Yeah, I'll probably go with that. Termination. Okay. That's something. Fly, my beauties. We got dogs coming. Never see what hit 
Got a ton of life steal in the air. The five one is interesting. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to respond to that. Plus one strength for each influence you have the most of. Maybe just kill it with Blade of the Worthy. Cute. I think we'll just uh, weather it for now. Getting another small wing tinker, that makes sense. Oh, these attacks are good. Gotta decide if it's worth it to kill the Flyers, or just go for the Blade of the Worthy. I think we go Blade of the Worthy. But now we got big scary monsters coming along. Smogwing Tinker in particular. I can fix that. Good stuff. Dang, friend. All right, uh, I think we start by attacking for five. I wanna just, uh, I could've killed the Stormwing there. I guess I'm happier with this. Y'all, like, Spirit Weaver is broke as hell. What a good card. Time to block it. No, I think we're good. Oh, whoops, I messed up. I was going to make more wolves. All right, it's fine. They'll never see what hit them. Another one of those, huh? Okay. Seems fine. Yulo's about outlive their usefulness. We're pretty far ahead on the board. Uh, shifting Illusion, I think we want to save. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's interesting. A 4-5. I think the way that's set up, we just want to get rid of it and stabilize the board a little bit. Triumphant Return. Love it. What can we bring back? Nothing with Revenge, but we can get uh, Yulo again. Make her a 5-drop. Chain Witch Bludgeoner is scary, but not the end of the world. Love the Torrent of Filth. Alright, are we Triumphant Returning something? I don't think Yulo actually is worth Triumphant Returning. Brute of Aramont, maybe, but we can do that on a turn where we're a little bit more established. Right now, I think we're doing good. The ancestors guide our the ancients. Hmm. It's a 9-10. Kind of a scary customer.
Do you have any other lifesteal units? Towering Arachnid or Eulo would both do it. Alright, cool. And we're finally out of silver in draft, hooray. Alright, here we go, don't curse it. John Avon, uh, Shadow 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 Primal. Got that Spirit Weaver. We could probably roll with this. Grizzly Contest is not great. I think I like it though. Go first, Spirit Weaver. I bet we can do better. Okay, that's better. Felon Stranger fixes. We have extremely strong fives. Yeah, we got a roast and draft. Feeling good about it. That is true. We have barely been able to play it. We all I think uh, we might plunder a blue card here so we can get it out this game because getting it on curve is actually like insanely strong. Are we going to plunder here? I'm actually pretty happy at the moment. I could even plunder Arachnid here. Might be worth it. Did deny myself the plunder opportunity, but honestly, I think we're just trying to set up roast. Oh, but it'll get silenced immediately, so that's a little bit rough. I never miss. Dance in the flames. Get the box. I don't know. This is not a great start. Huh. Five two trades pretty well with a one one though. Pushes harder than their four three for sure. What you got? Grizzly contest, cool. My daggers find their mark. All right, we're trading up. Uh, I mean, towering erected traded fine. It was a two drop that forced my opponent to Grizzly contract early, which means that the Fear Trackers are alive, so I'm pretty happy with it. Amethyst coin, we might want to hit a treasure trove on. My daggers find their nah, I need that influence, so we'll take it. Okay, doing okay at pushing. But I'm still playing last week's good stuff. This is not good stuff in the current set. But it is still potentially pretty scary depending on what they've got going on. Shifting Illusion is very much up my alley right now. Uh, I don't have to sacrifice here if I don't want to. Might be the appropriate time, though. No. 
Shifting Illusion needs to plunder Shadow Influence. Listen and be yeah, not surprised to see Rectifier. We knew silences were going to be pretty common. Uh, I don't want to plunder that. I do want a Grizzly Contract something, but I think we need to like actually save the Shifting Illusion to turn a power into a Treasure Trove. Otherwise things are going to get weird. Got an early block, that's good. That means that Roast is actually going to be pretty likely. We find some blue. Scheme? Okay. What is my best option here? I think it's Water Conjuring. Race Codex is just completely out of this world. My prey never escapes. I think we got to do it now. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is 70 number 15. Oh. Good stuff. All right. Dang. That is number 15, right? Feeling real good about that.